Lord Kirkup, Dr Kirkup, whatever you want to be called. What's your diagnosis? Well, I think actually um, I, what I've just heard is rather churlish. Yeah. Credit where credit's due. <coughs> and we just announced £2.4 billion over the next five years. We've got our, our new approach, which is actually based on a lot of work that's gone on behind the scenes with the health service and the professionals in the health service. So we end up with this... Uh, train, retain and reform process, I mean, which actually the Labour Party itself, I think, is in great difficulties in opposing. This is an enormous change and reform to the health service, which we frankly needed for an awful long time. It's not going to put everything right immediately, of course it's not. But the key point is that we are making progress, progress which, uh, as I say, governments of all complexions for too long have failed to take on board. That's the you, difference. You've been in power for 13 years, so <laughs> it's hard, hard to blame I, know, I, accept, else, I accept, I think, I think we, uh, as well as Labour, I think we're all, we all bear some blame for this, not reforming <laughs> the health so. service adequately to bring it up to date. Uh, the ideas, the changes that are going to take place with technology, with new pension reforms for those okay. that work in it, well, all let, of those let, things let, are important. Sharon is shaking. The Labour Party are being a little bit uh, funny today because, frankly, a lot of the things that we are proposing, admittedly, some Labour spokesmen have been arguing for, mm -hmm. uh, as well as members of the trade unions, as member of professional bodies in the health service, okay. and the government is right, performing. But, uh, what are the staff it, you've got? I don't think it's a matter just to pay at all. I mean, I know, I know there are well, areas where we... It might not be, but it's, it, yeah. they're also depressed about the condition of the NHS. And that is precisely the reason why we have got this plan. We're going to put it into, uh, into effect very quickly indeed. And I think that, that... I'm very impressed, actually, with the announcement that's been made. Prime Minister's announcement, the Health Secretary's announcement. This is something, really, that I think everybody can get hold of. Most of the professional bodies have welcomed it as well. It's just the Labour Party, I'm afraid, claiming that they could do better. I can't see how they do. could do better than we're proposing. We always... I think it's okay. appalling that we should not welcome some of the innovation and technology that we've already got shown. But, yeah, I mean, my got, local GPs... Record waiting. Oh, listen, well, you heard those statistics. Seven, got record no, waiting. My, seven my, million. Hold on a second. My local GPs in Nesborough, for instance, Richard, have got incredible innovations and made great changes of technology to help patients. And we've Weekend got a massive shortage of GPs, haven't we? All the sort of things, though, that could not happen People historically went, without weeks, some kind of reforming approach. And I think that this is a a very good and positive approach and I just wish the Labour Party would just say good okay we think we could do better well we'll see but the point is in the meantime why not just welcome it <laughs>